Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger. So, we just got off the Blackbird here, um, and we're gonna go find Chrono. But first, let's go ahead and look around. Um, I wonder if anything new... Are these... Is this guy selling anything new? Yes, he is selling stuff new. Okay, so I don't have Chrono in my party, so I can't tell if that's better. But I'm gonna take a bright guess and say this is probably better, but I'm not gonna buy it yet just in case. Okay, these suits are very good. I'm gonna buy three of those suits. I'm gonna buy two of these. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Once I get Chrono back in my party, then I'll do more, but for now that's all I'm gonna do. And there's a save point here. Let's make sure to save. Okay. Let's continue into the village commons, I guess, right? Such a mysterious little tree. Perhaps someday it will help us paint the land green again. The sun ever rises on the morrow. There's little we can do, but we look for today. I, I glimpsed the figure of a man on the North Cape. Okay, it's good to see some smiles. The man on the North Cape is probably the dude we're looking for. The Sun Temple of Zeal and Trine. Okay, we already read that. Oh, there's another stranger watched here not long after the tide carried you here. Okay. No one has ever heard that came after you, not even the... Okay. The villagers are still coming around as well. They simply need time to accept their fate. We will not have to start again from scratch. And that is not something people are, are won't concede. Okay. Where do I go? I need to go to the North Cape. Okay, so I think the North Cape is <clears throat> right here. Perfect. Let's go see what's up. Ooh, there's Magus. So, it's you. Magus. Behold, all of it rests at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I lived there once, but I was another person then. What's this? Dimensional Vortex? Balthazar, we were right then. This power is beyond human control. Oh no, we'll be dragged into the rift. Shala. No, Janus, stay away. But... Melkor, it's a... There goes Melkor. A time gate? No. Shala. Janus. Oh, and this shows how everyone got to their respective places. That makes sense. What? What is this place? Hello? There's no one here. Is this the end of time? Ooh, and Janice got teleported to Ozzy. You, you were that boy. I've lived only for the thought of slaying Lavos ever since his rift in time's fabric stranded me in the Middle Ages. And just as I had summoned him to my castle, you arrived to interfere. To think I would be drawn through yet another portal only to find myself returned to this age. Ironic, is it not? Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the queen that I was an oracle of no small power, and so again I worked to draw the beast out. But no history book could have prepared me for what ensued. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Before him, all are as leaves cast to the bitter winds that howl about death's black wings. Stay this course and your fate will be the same as the full chrono. You dare dishonor him? Play with fire and you get burned. A lesson better learned sooner than later. The weak can go quickly to their graves. Stay stay your tongue, Magus. You wish to fight me? No. Taking your life will not restore Chrono or Cyrus theirs. Wait. 
I'll accompany you. Are you mad? I said the fool was dead. I did not say his death could not be undone. Of what do you speak? Gaspar, the guru of time, knows the way to store those streams of time that have been diverted from their proper courses. Yeah, I'm going to keep him as Magus. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, let's take Frog out. No. Let's take Ayla out from Magus. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go to the Guru of Time. I'm guessing that is to, like, the, the you know, the unknown land, right? So, let's... The Epoch Space-Time Compass has gone haywire. That's... What do I do? Oh, is these, are these the controls? Oh, what is that? It is enormous. I detected a tremendous amount of mental energy. Death's fairy? Has it come for us? ocean palace but no look at the epochs time space monitor there's activity in other ages as well a vortex has appeared but why the space-time balance appears to be slipping off of its axes is Labos's hand in this as well Okay, so now how do I go to the Guru of Time? Okay, so we're in antiquity. Let's go to the end of time so we can talk to the Guru, right? Yeah, that's where we need to go. Get off. Okay, because we're at the end of time here. Okay, so if we talk to this guy. Oh, where's that sp sprightly young man? I see. How terrible. There's little I can do for you, but let me honor him with a song. I'll call it Memories of Chrono. Were there anything more I could do? I would, but I fear I can be a little late. Only the guru of time can help us now. That face. Have I not seen you before? Ah, indeed, you've grown strong, tainted of soul to be sure, but formidable all the same. The Guru of Time, you say? I know of him. But what business have you with the Guru of Time? We've heard he may know a way to restore life to our fallen friend. The truth of it, I do not know. Ah, yes, to break death's hold over one you hold dearest still. You are not the first to wish such a thing, nor will you be the last. Chrono must be happy indeed knowing such dear friends as you. Hey. Oh. Hey, uh, what do you want? Here, take this with you. What is this? The egg of some beast? That is the Chrono Trigger. A time egg. Should you wish to try and hatch it? The one who crafted your wings of time can tell you the way. But know that I may not necessarily hatch the results which you desire. The chrono trigger represents potential. Re results require action. As long as you keep chrono in your heart and pursue what you seek, the results should follow. But I can make no guarantees. I see you now. It's you, isn't it? I have arrived at the hypothesis. Sir, are you Gasper, the guru of time? Ah, uh -huh. Yeah, I believe that is what they used to call me. That was a long, long ago. Chrono Trigger, okay. Okay guys, so what we need to do right now is we need to go to 1000 AD and we need to go get a clone 
Yes, we need to go to the present. And we need to get a clone of Chrono. So we'll have to go to the Millennium Fair and get a clone of him. So that means we're gonna have to get some silver points. Okay, where are we right now? Oh, we're up here, okay. Ooh, and there's the boat. Okay, let's go to the Millennial Fair. Um, I don't know how many silver points I have, but I'll need 40. So I'm gonna need 40 of them. You want to- so you want a doppel doll of Chrono. Normally I wouldn't give out another person's doll, but today I'll make an exception. 40 silver points. I'll give you the doll even if you lose the game, but it will cost you. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Play the game, let's do it. You don't have enough points. I need 40 points, okay. So, it means we gotta go collect some points. I know we can defeat um, this guy for some points, right? Can I not defeat him again? Yes, I can, okay. We should do quite a bit of damage to him. Yeah, there we go. How many silver points do I get? 15 points. Okay. Can I just keep doing that over and over again? Yeah, let's just... Uh... Okay, so we can just keep doing that to earn enough points. I know... I think this is the easiest way to earn points. I know there's a, a drinking game. But, okay, let's do that one more time just to make sure we have 45. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, easy. Wait, did I get my points? Um, okay, I don't know if I got my points, but I'm just gonna assume that I did. Okay, let me get that doll. Welcome. Show's about to start. So you want... Okay, we already read through all that. Mimic what you see. Oh, dude, these... I hate these. I'm on a keyboard. I'm gonna lose because I'm on a keyboard, dude. I don't... I Like, A is, you know, Q or something. Start when you hear this uh, action. I'm gonna get the doll either way after this game, so that's why I don't really care. I'll take 60,000 G, sure, I don't care, dude. I just, I can't do those games if I'm on a keyboard. Okay, but either way, we have the... Okay, we did get the clone, so we did get it. Let's go to Chrono's house. And... Yes, he's right here. Chrono's... Oh, hello, is Chrono alright? Hey, the lad is very, very picture of health. Well, I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. You tell him I said to behave himself, all right? My lady. Yes? We've need of this doll, but only for a time. Go right ahead, dear. Okay. Okay, doppel doll. You stay out of trouble now. Okay, so now we got the doppel doll. Now... We have to go to Balthazar. Okay, so we need to go to 2300 AD here. So, um, let's go ahead and hit B. 2300, yeah, so we need to go to the future. Okay, and we need to go to Balthazar's hut, which is right here, if I remember correctly. No. Yeah, maybe? I think this is it. Well, we can't- the pendant begins to glow. We can go in this door. Did we already go through this one? I think we might have. Obtain magic capsule? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Death Peak harbors a power capable of restoring the slain to life, but the power to reverse death is not one easily invoked. The need must be great and the person's existence of the utmost importance. And what's more, you'll need a double, a doll identical to the person in every detail. Then and only then will the power deign to hatch the egg. 
Yes, that will do quite well. It seems the time has come for you to attempt a death peak. It is the only chance you have of reviving your friend. I've implanted one final program, truly I mean, in this time, in this construction's memory banks. It will help you to it will help to guide you up the mountain. Please stand back. Executing program. Executing program. Executing program. The three entities you just saw will aid you on Death Peak. This ends my message. Now, I must ask you for a favor. This construct has reached the end of its final program. Program, please let him rest. The switch is on his stomach. Yes. Time no longer appears. Okay. Can I not get past that door? Apparently not. Okay. Well, let us go to Death Peak then. Where is it? Is it this? Death Peak. Perfect. Walk when the wind dies down and hide behind the trees when it picks up strength. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Easy enough. Hmm. Oh, does the wind pick up here too? I guess we'll have to fight these things. So I haven't seen Magus' text yet. Oh. Let's use Fire 2. I think these might be ice creatures. So maybe Fire 2 would be the best option. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Nice. Oh, we never even looked at Magus' equipment here. Moonfall Scythe, Doom Helm. This stuff would- oh, this stuff is even better, okay. No, the raven armor is better. Prevents whole status ailment. Let's go ahead and put the on here. Not actually not yet, because that gives us an ability, but we won't need that ability just yet. Tin magic ring, okay. Let's go up. Okay, I can't get down to that. Is there something that I want over here? Maybe not. Either way, let's just attack these guys. Let's see, what is up here? Just more of these things. Aw, oh, man. Now we gotta fight them. It's okay. Let's go ahead and use Magus. Let's use fire. Hopefully that'll kill everyone here. And we will have to heal Frog a tiny bit. Does that kill everyone? Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Perfect. Oop, more of these guys. Let's go ahead and attack them. Nothing at this tree. Oh! Is that a little Lavos? Okay. It has two parts to its body. That's a lot of damage. Okay. I did not expect this thing here. Okay, so... Lavo spawn needles. Oh, so we just need to hit its mouth first. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Wait, no, this is bad. It'll do the counter again. Okay, that, that was really bad, actually. Uh... Uh, probably everyone's gonna die except Frog, or except Robo here. Uh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Let's get Magus back up since he has the fastest speed up, I think. Item, Indian Water, let's go get Frog up. It's gonna kill Robo here. I think we'll have enough chance to maybe get... No, maybe not. Oh, oh, I did, okay, let's get a High Potion. High Potion on him so we can't die. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, try to out outpace this. I might die here, actually. Wait, I might die. Wait, I need... No, I need a second, bro. I need, like, one second to actually, you know... 
You need water. Okay, I didn't do too much damage. I need it. I need. I need to heal. Okay, that doesn't work. He's dead. That's not good. Oh wait, I think we're all gonna die. This is another needle. This might be. Oh wait, no, Robo's dead. Man, I need to get people to high HP before they die, dude. This is insane. I'm using. Okay, cure two. Let me cure myself. Okay, I think we're almost out of range here. This was almost. I almost died here. That was super dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna need to attack his beak. Okay, that is not... Let's keep attacking his beak here. Okay, we gotta cure Robo. Um... Okay. I need Robo to come back alive because I need him to heal beam. Cure 2. And then, I guess we can just keep attacking the beak. We don't want to attack the body at the moment. Magus do need that much health, but hey, we got him topped off. Okay. I need to attack with... Attack. Let's do an aerial strike on the beak. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. No, he's not dead. Okay, well then, with... Let's do another heal beam. Wait, no, I didn't... God, this is actually very annoying. I finally got to attack with Robo, and it didn't even do what I actually wanted it to do. But that's fine, I guess. Um... See, it hit his body! Now, now it's gonna spawn needles, dude. Oh, no. That misclick is gonna cost me. Because that does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, heal beam. I need an aerial strike, but I need it on the main part of the body. Okay. There we go, on the beak. On the beak. There we go. Okay, and the rest of it goes. Perfect. That was very close to me dying. Very, very close. That was, like, stupidly close. Gigaton arm, that is good for Robo, I'm guessing. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I can't get past this. Alright, that was a little too close. Okay. More skeletons, which Magus will easily take care of here. Fire. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, a brave sword. That can be used for... Yes! Wow, that is a lot more tech damage. Okay. Oop, it looks like we're gonna have to fight some things, though. Okay. Oh, and that takes me up to the top of the cliff. Oh, and that actually opens the cliff. Okay. Looks like we'll have to fight these guys again. That's fine. Can we jump here? Oh no, don't tell me we have to go all the way around. Okay, well, hold on, what's over there? I want that, whatever that is. Oh, so we have to go down here, okay. Looks like we can save here. Go ahead and save. Is there anything else? Barrier ring. Okay, so this was the one that just opened up. Let's go see what's in this one first. Maybe not. Okay. Nothing will let us through. Well, we saved. Um, let's go ahead and use some heal beams. There we go. Okay, let's pick up a, this, and that will go on Magus because he uses sickles or scythes. I mean, on a sickle. Ooh, we got another level spawn. I think we are ready for it. I just need to do one heal beam. There we go. Okay, and I will not make the same mistake as last time here. 
Aerial Strike the middle. Go ahead and just attack the middle. And then I'm going to be constantly healing with Robo. Just to make it make up for it. And I'm not making that same mistake again. Let's go ahead and heal up. Make sure none of us get too low. And I'm not going to heal with Robo just once. I'm going to attack. Just because Robo has an extremely strong attack here. So I want to get that extra damage. Yeah, 1,000. It's insane. Okay. Try to put Frog to sleep here. Magus is not really useful for this fight. Just because he only uses magic. And magic targets multiple people. So, Okay, there we go. This fight was a lot easier than the last one, for sure. The footing here is icy and slick. Be careful. Fall and you'll have to start over. Okay. I don't fall, so... Okay. Oh! Okay, these things. No, I'm gonna do, uh, tonight, but sorry. I'm sorry, I'll do a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's grab this chest. Yaksha blade. That is. Ooh. Yeah, well, 1,500. That's not bad at all. But I'm not gonna do that right now, just cause I don't really need to. Okay. Push the shell. Climb the shell. Push the shell. Climb the shell. Climb down here. Okay. Dark bomb. No, I can't hit him with two. Let's just use a high potion on frog. Let's use aerial strike on the thingy. Let's go use a heal beam on here. Okay, cool. We got the heal off. That's all that matters. As long as we kind of get to a decent amount of HP, I'll be able to keep the ball rolling with him. Uh, zaps all enemies, and I don't want that. I just want him. Aerial strike. And this is good. Robo, like I said, is going to do like a thousand damage, so he's insane. Hopefully we won't have to do too much healing, just because of the amount of damage we're outputting here. Ooh, is that gonna do bad? Not too bad, actually. Got a little crit there. Ooh, and actually, I think this should be able to kill him here. If that doesn't kill him, this definitely will. Nah, that killed him. Yep. Okay. So now we got the shell. Okay. I'm guessing now we just have to push it, right? Okay. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. And then we'll have to climb the shell. There we go. Now I can climb the shell. There we go. Easy enough. Let's go get this. Memory cap. What is that? Let's see. Memory cap? Prevents lock. Okay. Prevents stop and so I think the time hat's a little more special here. This is it, the summit of Death Peak. You who fear the night and stand against the darkness, lend us your strength. Chrono. The pendants reacting. shattered. It was folly to come here. All this and for naught. Please do not despair. We place too much hope in bringing Chrono back. Chrono, answer us.
like stone statues, an unsettling sight. It appears that time has been suspended. A time freeze? I never dreamt it possible. Can we just grab Chrono? We just need to exchange the Doppel doll for Chrono. What a relief, Sir Chrono. Thank goodness you are alright. I'd remain here no longer than we must. Let us be gone. Save the tearful reunions for later. If we've done all we must, let us be on our way. Good of you to return, Chrono. Ah, Sir Chrono, is it a relief to have you with us again? You should be thankful. You are blessed to be loved by everyone, you lucky, lucky fool. So we got Chrono back. Oh, okay. So we can actually grab him back now, right? Will you take Chrono? Of course I will. Let's go ahead and I think this is going to be the final party in the game. I think it's going to be Chrono, Robo, Magus. I think this is my lineup here. Yeah. I think this is it. Let's go ahead and restore everything. And let's go ahead and give it a quick save. Okay, guys. And this is where we're going to end off today's episode. Next time, we'll, you know, continue with the story. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.